So maybe one of the best ways to describe the New York Jets is simply to say the football gods really don't like them in a home game against the Buffalo Bills tonight. They actually ended up losing 23 to 20. And the once very reliable Greg Zerline, not once, but twice actually clanked the ball off of the uprights. You could hear the sound uh, all the way into Manhattan. And that is how large at least the second clank was as the Jets did fall to Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. Now, my reaction uh, about tonight's Monday Night Football game is simply to say, I thought, you know, for the most part, the Jets actually held it together. I thought, for the most part, the Jets actually looked like a professional football team tonight. And there were times when I thought the Jets were actually going to win. I mean, when Aaron Rodgers threw the Hail Mary at the end of the first half and it actually succeeded, I thought, well, maybe the football gods are smiling on the Jets tonight. Of course, that wasn't the case. Just ask if ask Greg Zerline if he's going to get any sleep tonight. I'm sure he'll be on the front page and back page of every newspaper that still exists in New York on Tuesday. Now, as for the Buffalo Bills, you had your typical Josh Allen game. That is your typical 2024 Josh Allen game, which basically means he had some turnovers that didn't actually turn into turnovers, which happened again tonight. Josh Allen's still very good tonight, though. 19 for 25, 215 yards in the air, just ball control offense for the most part, and two touchdowns. Ray Davis was the star of the game in the backfield for the Jets, uh, or for the Bills, I should say, as Cook was out of the game. Uh, Davis actually had uh, 97 yards on 20 carries, uh, almost a five yard per average. It was pretty clear to the announcers and pretty clear to anybody that actually observes the National Football League on a regular basis that both teams probably should have ran the ball more than they actually did. On the Jets' side of the fence, Brees Hall looked like the old Brees Hall. It was almost as if the current coaching staff, uh, which is basically the same people who have just been promoted into new positions, rediscovered that they actually have Brees Hall and abandoned the Braylon Allen experiment that one Nathaniel Hackett had been trying to throw down the Jets' fans' throats for the first five weeks of the season. Brees Hall had 18 carries, 113 yards, and a 6.3 yard uh, average. Now, ultimately, as I'm saying this, if you go back and watch the tape, you will see that both teams actually were succeeding by actually running the ball, which is why I didn't understand why Aaron Rodgers tonight was asked to still throw the ball 35 times he completed 23 of those passes he had the Hail Mary uh, touchdown pass and one other touchdown pass in today's game came close to a 300 yard game with 294 yards and had one interception which I'm not really sure was his fault as uh, Mike Williams actually slipped and not really sure what happened on that particular play now in terms of the new uh, head coach or the interim head coach and and Todd Downing taking over the uh, offensive playing duties uh, in game. I thought that all seemed to go pretty well for the most part. Uh, it was essentially, though, a game built on laundry. I, I can't remember a Monday night football game sort of this late into the season that had so many flags <laughs> thrown any flow uh, in this particular game that you might wanted to have actually seen certainly went away with the flags being thrown. Now, you can attribute the Jets flags and the Jets penalties to basically, you know, sort of a shakeup up at the helm. In terms of the Buffalo Bills, I'm not really sure what their excuse is. 
They both had 11 accepted penalties against them. There were 22 penalties in tonight's game. Now, Aaron Rodgers did look a little beat up towards the end of the game, and Josh Allen did what Josh Allen does. He also rushed for a touchdown in today's game as well. At the end of the day, I, I think this was as much a Buffalo Bills squeaky win as it was a New York Jets loss. I thought the Jets actually played well enough to win. We talked a little bit about the Greg Zerloin missed field goals. I think the Jets coaching staff, and I don't know that they'll do this, should actually come away from today's game actually being positive about what they actually saw on the field for four quarters of football. Now, sometimes the football gods don't like you and things go against you. And sometimes the football gods do like you. The Hail Mary touchdown pass from one Aaron Rodgers is a prime example of both things actually happening in the same game to the same team. So if I were on the Jets coaching staff, I would certainly recommend making a couple adjustments here and there. I I think they are still struggling on the offensive line to protect Aaron Rodgers enough. I think they are relying on Aaron to still throw the ball a little bit too much. And I would focus in more on actually running the ball. Up next for the uh, New York Jets is actually the Pittsburgh Steelers, which will turn into a time of possession game if the Jets actually play their cards right, because you know the Steelers aren't gonna be thrown for 300 yards against this Jets defense. I will say as well that I thought the Jets defense actually played really well for the most part. And, I also felt that the Buffalo Bills defense also played pretty good today as well, or tonight as well, I should say. All right, uh, enough from me. I would love to get your reaction and what you thought about tonight's National Football League game. Please just go ahead and drop in your comments. If you are new to the underrated channel, please go ahead and subscribe and of course like this video. Every subscription certainly helps the channel grow and is greatly appreciated. For the Underrated Pod and NFL Rundown Show, I'm Dave DeBaugh wishing you all a tremendous rest of your sports viewing day. To the cool new music we go. This is Phoenix.